Africa's largest telecommunications operator, MTN Group, announced a half-year loss driven by the devaluation of the Nigerian Naira and operational difficulties in Sudan. The company is serving 288 million customers in 18 African markets recorded a headline loss of 256 cents per share for the six month ending June 30, contrasting with the previous year's restated earnings of 260 cents per share. Despite a 20.8% decline in reported group service revenue to 85.3 billion rand from 107.7 billion rand, the constant currency service revenue, excluding device and SIM card sales, increased by 12.1%. MTN's board projects a minimum ordinary final dividend of 330 cents per share for the 2024 financial year. Investment analyst Preetu Makan provides insights on these recent developments. MTN's soft bottom line performance was well guided for by management, with the loss in this half being mainly a function of the continued devaluation of the Naira against the US dollar, which adversely impacted MTN Nigeria's financials. The loss was also weighed on by operational challenges in Sudan and several non-operational items. Operationally, the group delivered a solid underlying performance in key markets, which was bolstered by the continued execution of several commercial initiatives and the Ambition 2025 strategy. Constant currency service revenue growth, while tracking behind medium-term expectations, was resilient with pleasing expansion in data and fintech. Regionally, MTN SA demonstrated encouraging progress in key areas of the business, which helped to drive some acceleration in the overall service revenue figure. MTN Nigeria, Ghana, and Uganda were the standout performers which helped drive the underlying operational performance. Notwithstanding the current difficult trading environment, management remains focused on execution of the commercial strategies with sustained balance sheet resilience and flexibility providing further support. As a result, medium-term guidance was maintained.